What's up all you YouTubers? FG here. I'm gonna bring you another action-packed gamo air rifle video today. Today I'm comparing three different brands of 22 caliber uh, pellets and different types and we're gonna be shooting them out back at my uh, my backyard range here which I completely built 100% by myself and that's going to be another video of how I built that and I'm going to show you um, how I built it and what it looks like but there's no bullets getting through that anyway I'm going to show you three types of pellets in a minute and we're going to be shooting stuff up all day long I got those two white targets there we're going to shoot the pellets at those targets at three different ranges Three different distances I got we're gonna do seven yards 10 yards and I got 20 yards behind us so we're gonna start at the 20 yards and um, see what kind of damage it do does and then we're gonna move up and see what kind of damage it does and then at the end maybe I have two BB gun handguns um, and a FN reflex. <laughs> we're gonna try blowing through that and see what happens. But anyway, we're gonna do. Uh, we'll shoot shoot some shoot the targets with a couple BB guns and see what it does compared to the pellets. But I'm gonna show you the pellets in a minute. All right. All right. So I got the rifle loaded up. We're gonna shoot the left side target. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do blow like do like three rounds back at the twenty. And we'll see what kind of damage that does. Gonna unmount this camera for a minute. Let's go check this out. <laughs> See what we got. Wow. That's some nice dents. See that? That would hurt. Let's see what the back looks like. Some nice dents in this thing. And by the way, this is a uh, a seat from a uh, a metal folding chair. You live out in the bush, you gotta improvise. So that's a 20 yards. Let's do some more. Let's let's get a little let's get a little closer, see what happens. Don't go anywhere. Let's get a little closer. See if we can do some damage. Some nice dents. See that? That would hurt. Back looks like. Some nice dents in this thing. And by the way, this is a uh, 
a seat from a, uh, a metal folding chair. When you live out in the bush, you got to improvise. All right, let's see what kind of damage we did. Let's see what's going on over here. Wow. Got some nice damage there. <laughs> Put some nice dents in that. I'm gonna get a little closer. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do seven yards. Here's one of the uh, look at that. <laughs> Flatten that right out. We're gonna do seven yards. We do right here. Don't go anywhere. We got three rounds left. I'm out. So that was the Crossman hollow points. All right. See what kind of damage we did. Wow. <laughs> Look at that dent. Huh? Pretty good grouping, huh? Look at that. That's a pretty nice dent. All right, so that's the Crossman hollow points. We're gonna do the other two next with uh, this target. All right, so I got the Rifle loaded up with these Ruger Super Points. And one thing I did notice, they went into the magazine like butter. They slid right in. These Crossman Hollow Points, I literally had to push every single one in to turn, turn it to uh, get another pellet. So these Ruger Super Points definitely go into the, uh, the magazine a lot easier. I have to see what the gamos do. All right, so... We're going to start, we're going to do 20 yards back there, we're going to do 10, and then we're going to do 7. We're going to be shooting at the target right there, the left side. Alright, we're going to do like, we'll do like 3, we'll do like 4, 3, and 3. And then uh, we'll check the damage. So don't go anywhere. Go anywhere. All right, stay there. Check the damage. Oh, I shot pretty low. I was in a rush. Let's see what kind of damage these did. Uh, I don't know. 
I think the uh, the Crossman. Yeah, the Crossman hollow points definitely did definitely did more damage than these uh, these Rugers for sure. Look at the hollow point, and that's the Ruger. So we're gonna get closer and. Uh, We'll get closer, we'll blow a couple of rounds. All right, we're gonna get closer now. See what kind of damage we got. Uh, a little better. This was the grouping right here. But still, nothing like compared to the Crossman Hollow Point. Crossman Hollow Point is definitely doing more damage at this point. All right, so we're going to do seven yards next. I don't go anywhere. We're gonna do seven yards. How do you like my filming? Alright, let's see what that All right, so let's get closer. We're gonna do a couple of rounds at seven yards. Let's go check the damage. And I got a camera behind the target too. Catching all the action. So let's see, I got a little bit of grouping there. So the Ruger Super Points didn't really, I don't know, I'm not really impressed. They did a little bit of damage, but I think they, I think they made a little more of a dent, but the Crossman, look at the Crossman, that's a whelp, baby, <laughs> that would hurt, let's see this, I don't know, so far the Crossman I think is winning, let's try to, uh, we're going to try the Gamos next, so let me load up the rifle, and we'll try the gamos. All right, so I got the rifle. All loaded up with the uh, the Gamo rockets, and just like the Ruger Super Points, these slid right in the magazine like butter. So I definitely suggest getting the Gamo or the Rugers. The uh, the Crossmans were sucking going into the magazine. So, but they so far they did the most damage. So. 
Let's see, we're gonna do a couple rounds at 20, 10, and then we'll do seven. And then we'll check the damage. So don't go anywhere. I'm watching you. Go check the damage. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really impressed with that. And they did a little bit of damage. There's the Ruger. Well, they left a little bit of a welt. But pretty much the same as the Ruger. But look at the damage the Crossman did. So I think if you want the maximum damage, you got to get the Crossman. So let's get closer. And uh, we'll see what kind of damage we can do. Let's see. Alright, so let's check it this out. I think my scope is a little off. I think it's shooting a little low, obviously. Yeah, they were all shooting low. Alright, let's see. Uh, not that much damage. And a gamos uh I don't know, the Gamos ain't performing. I wanted to get the uh, the Gamo Super, I think they had Super Points, but they were out of them. So let's get closer and see what kind of uh, damage we could do. Put two more rounds in there to give us four rounds. A close range. Let's see what kind of damage we got. Let's see. Let's see what kind of damage. Uh, did that go through? Yeah, that one went through. <laughs> yeah, that one went through. Actually, that, would look, that looked like a double hit right there. That didn't really go through. But like I said, those are hollow points, so. They're doing what hollow points do. But this one, uh, I don't know, it's probably the same as the Ruger Super Point. Basically. And I put a little more damage. I think the Ruger Super Points are, uh, are last. I don't know, it depends on the, uh, I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. 
and um, uh, let me know what uh, if there's any other 22 calipers you want me to try out and compare. And uh, let's try uh, let's try hitting the uh, let's try these license plates. See what kind of damage it does to the license plates. All right, let me go load the rifle up. All right, so I'm back with you. I'm back. This is a little, after I stopped the video before, I thought of something. I wanted to try the pellets and see what they did do to the, um, those 3 a stick um, metal targets. So I shot the, the target with the gamos. I put two rounds in each. So let's see what kind of damage or what kind of little indentation it did, if any. So there's right there. It's a little, a little tiny indentation in it. Now this ain't uh, this ain't uh, AR1 steel, but let's see. That one's got a little dimple in it, see it? It put a little dimple on this target. So that's the gamo, it didn't do anything to this steel. So that's the gamos, rockets. So I'm gonna load up the Rugers, and obviously I'm sticking this footage into the middle of the video. Um, I did it after I, closed up the other one but I'm gonna put some Ruger super points in it and fire a couple rounds all right so I got the Ruger super points in it let's see what kind of damage it does I'm gonna hit the pumpkin first I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it a little higher than the other group then See what we got here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see. All right, here's the two top ones. And you can see the little dimples the gamos made, and the Rugers really didn't make a dimple. And then here's the, uh, how's that for a grouping, huh? Huh? It didn't really do anything. That, the gamos made a little indentation in it. The Rugers didn't do anything. So I don't know. There's the cross crossman. 
There's the Rugers. So, in my opinion, I think the Rugers are sucking. <laughs> they uh, they get an F compared to the Gamos and the Crossmans. But if you want the most damage, I think the Crossmans definitely uh, are going to be it. So, let's load the... We're going to load the Crossman in and see what happens. All right, so I got the Crossman hollow points loaded up. And once again, I'm using the Gamo Swarm Whisper. So let's see what kind of damage this does. I'm going to put the groupings a little higher than the other one. See the damage. Now this is the Crossman hollow points. Let's see what we got. It's kind of hard to see. It didn't really do anything. It looks like it just splattered, which they're meant to do. But look at the dimples the Gamos made. The Gamo rockets made a little bit of dimple in the metal. And then here's the two. Right there, so it didn't do much. But like I said, the hollow points are meant to, you know, splatter on impact. So it looks like that we what they did. But look at the dimple, the gamo rockets left. So, and then this with the gamo rockets right here, and this one, that one blew right through. So I think the, uh, I don't know, it depends what kind of damage you want to do. But I think the gamo rockets are. Uh, or maybe the winner. I don't know. It depends on what you want, but you know, for damage-wise, it looks like look at the Crossmans. The Crossmans definitely win in the gamut, the damage department. And I don't know. These were, you know, like a regular bullet, they'll go right through somebody. So that is about it for that. So. So just to recap these before I go back to the end of the video, which I'm, like I said, I'm putting this in the middle of the video because I shot it at the end. And so here's the pellets. I say here's the Gamma Rockets. So I'm going to try to find the, um, the Gamos make a red pointed pellet. I'm going to try to find those. And maybe a couple different other brands. Um, so hit me up in the comments. And let me know what you think. So we'll get back to the other part of the video. See you. Alright. So I got six rounds of the Crossman hollow points. We'll uh, hit the license plate see what it does. Try one. It's going blowing right through the license plate. Let's see back here. Right, let's check out the damage. I think it blew right through the license plate. Let's see. It's starting to get hot out. <laughs> wow. Look at that damage. And I think the. Uh, I think the top one was actually farther away. But look at the damage these uh, Crossmans do. All right, so I'm going to load it up with the, uh, the Rugers. And we'll see what kind of damage that does. Hold on.
All right, so I got the uh, I got the Ruger Super Points loaded up. We're gonna hit the we hit the middle license plate. See what happens. Check the damage. Let's see. What kind of damage do I got? Where'd the other one go? I miss? I know we got a double hole. I know I hit it. Anyway, so that's the Ruger Super Point. I don't know if you can see it with the sun. That's the Ruger Super Point. And that's the, uh, so I think these hollow points are definitely doing uh, more damage, but that's what hollow points are meant to do. All right, so I'm gonna load it up with the gamma rockets and we'll hit the left side license plate and see what, I mean the right side license plate, see what happens. All right, so I got it loaded up with these gamma rockets and we'll see what kind of damage we can do. All right, so let's see the damage. I think it's gonna be the, uh, I think it's gonna be the same as the Rugers. I don't know if you can see that in the sun. Oh, nice little holes. I think well, the left one, I think I blew one to the left. I was in a hurry. But it made some nice little holes. I don't know if you can see the little holes. Made some nice holes. And actually, it made a perfect hole. The Ruger's kind of tore a big hole in the plate. And the Crossman, look at the damage the Crossman did. So, same thing. Anyway, my poor garment, I got my garment back. I mean, my uh, GoPro back there. Hope it didn't get hit. So, that's my uh, BB gun pellet comparison shootout, so to speak. So, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of the uh, video and uh, which, uh, which pellet you guys like the best and which ones do you use and which ones would you like me to give a field test on. And then getting back to my... Uh, my uh, backstop here, like I told you before, this is 100% completely built by myself by hand. All this, I cut the logs down, I built this whole entire backstop. A lot of sweat equity right there. And that's solid, 90% of that is logs stacked up with uh, dirt and sand. So there's nothing getting through there and Behind me, there's not another house or road for at least a mile. So there's nothing back there. So even if there anything, you know, does go over, um, it ain't gonna hit nobody because we're out in the middle of, uh, of nowhere. I have zero neighbors. Okay, so that's it for the pellet comparison. So I'm gonna be doing a video on the um, Humorex, this is the Glock 17, 
and this is the XBC BB pistols. Both are great pistols. This one uh, definitely feels like a Glock 17. Got a magazine that comes out. Got the cartridge in there. And the uh, cool thing about it is it locks back when it's out of uh, it's out of uh, BBs. And this one, the cartridge just slides in there. And it's got a little magazine that pops out. So put the BBs in there. So I'm gonna be doing a comparison on both of these and a, a review and a field test. So stay tuned on that. And um, this is my FN Reflex. This is my EBC for today. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and um, let me know if you have any questions or comments good bad if you like the video and uh what else you want me to try and um next time i'm gonna be uh shooting some stuff up so stay tuned and i'm gonna get some different pellets too and we're probably gonna get uh some different stuff we could shoot at and see what happens to it all right so i'm out give me a like see you guys.